in HTV's March magazine, you expressed how significant hydrogen fuel cells could be for zero emission flight. With that being the case, what kind of urgent challenges do we need to overcome to make this happen in your view? So if you ask me this question, let's say one year or two years ago, I said the main challenge is uh, how to change mindset of the people, that hydrogen is the safety of gas and et cetera. So right now, what we, I see that this, there is no any issue here. Everybody accepted that hydrogen is the few, it's the future for for aviation, uh, and at the same time, existing challenge uh, challenge for High Point and for companies who operate on that market is uh, um, is a certification process. So because you know that there is no right now uh, um, enough standards uh, and and another stuff to support that transformation, but actually. Uh, Together with Zero Avia and other customers, we are actively working with uh, different types of working groups in at the FAA, CIASA, and, and etc. CAA. So that is why I think it's, it's not issue anymore. It's really challenge. But we see a lot of professionals who is operates who is involved in that process, and I do strongly believe that you just need a couple of a uh, couple of years and three five years we will get the first type certificates for powertrains and aircrafts based on hydrogen fuel cells.